Video number four. Different ways to use PLR content. There are all sorts of ways to make use of great PLR content. You may automatically think of the most familiar ways, such as ebooks or guides or web content. However, there are many ways that PLR content can be incorporated into marketing, services, and products for your business. Twelve awesome uses for offline marketers. Brochures. Use the PLR content, graphics, or adaptable logos in your own business's brochures and flyers. Newsletters. Adapt and use content in your newsletters. Trade shows. Videos, audio, presentations, and content can all be used when you attend trade shows or conventions. Promotional items. Use or adapt logos, graphics, quotes, and other PLR content on promotional items such as magnets, mugs, shirts, etc. Radio. Adapt PLR content for radio spots or for use in interviews. Articles. PLR content can be a great source for business-related and topical articles. Ads. PLR content and graphics can be used in print advertisements. Logos. When you buy a logo and add your name, you are, in a sense, using PLR content. Cards and correspondence. Want to send all of your customers a holiday card? Find some great PLR content or graphics to make it unique. Templates. From presentation templates to manual and book templates, there's no need to reinvent when someone else has already created it. Training, training material, handouts, guides, and notebooks can be completed using great PLR content. Presentations, don't have time to create an informative and sleek PowerPoint presentation about SEO? There's probably a PLR version somewhere. Twelve awesome uses for online marketers. Niche-related product bundles. When you buy or create PLR content that is niche-specific, you can then offer this content as a bundle. Instead of one article or manual, your customers get a group of materials at a discounted price. Online memberships. Once you have a good stock of PLR materials, you can offer them online via subscription or membership. Your customers can pay a one-time or monthly fee to have PLR content regularly sent to them. This gives you a regular income as well. List building. By creating lists of PLR material, especially niche-specific lists, you're not only categorizing your content, you are also saving your customers time. They will be more likely to come to you for their content because they can find what they need in one place. Creating a marketplace. This is similar to list building or memberships, but it can be set up more as a storefront online, and your customers can simply shop for the content they want. Selling RR and MRR products. When you sell content that allows your customers to resell, especially if their customers can also resell, you are giving them something to purchase and a way to make a profit, which will make them even more interested in your content. Rebranding. We have talked about rebranding already, but this is a great way to tailor content. This allows you or your customers to have ownership of the content using your or their name and links. E-learning and online training. Online learning is becoming a bigger and bigger business. Individuals are taking advantage of the opportunity to take classes online, and businesses are using self-paced training online for their employees. You can be the one to supply them with great content. Web content. Let's face it, there are only so many ways to tell your customers that you sell insulation or roofing. Great PLR content will save you time when constructing content for your website. You just edit and alter the details so that they are specific to your company. Websites. Web templates have been around for years. The natural next step is content-rich websites that can be altered and adapted for an individual business or organization. We already have the capability to take a site template and make it our own through changing the colors, graphics, and fonts. Having ready-to-alter content saves even more time and money. Videos. If you sell do-it-yourself products, chances are your customers would like to be able to access how-to videos. Instead of spending the money to have a how-to-put-up-drywall video yourself, you can make use of one that is already out there. 
or if you create the video, you can sell it with PLR rights that will allow the customer to edit the lead-in and lead-out to include their business information. Graphics. If you go to a site like vistaprint.com to create a logo for your business, what you are really doing, in a sense, is buying the PLR rights to a graphic and font that is specific to your business. You can do this with your own graphics as well. Create a logo to go along with your content and make it editable. Ads. If you create a great ad as PLR content, then you can sell that ad to a variety of businesses who can then profit from the advertisement. Some engaging information and a great graphic can be coupled with the right to edit and insert individual information, and your customer is ready to go. Five awesome uses for businesses. Logos and graphics. With programs like Paint, Photoshop, and Silverlight, it's easy to edit and create your own graphics. If you have the rights to stock images, you can even use free online editors such as PicMonkey.com and GIMP.org to manipulate the images and overlay text. This is a great tool for creating graphics and logos for your own businesses or to sell to others. You can offer logo creation services along with your PLR content for an extra fee. Create your own. Once you begin reading and buying a lot of PLR content, you will get an idea of how it is organized. And if you have decent grammar and writing skills or a good proofreader, you'll be able to create your own PLR content. Then you can sell that content to others without having to pay for the content first. It's easy to begin with things like step-by-step -step instructions and then move on to more complex content. Sales Funnel. If you decide to go niche-specific, this is an especially good idea. Instead of offering a business part of what they need for sales, you can offer the entire process in content. That way, your customer has everything they need. For example, to sell printing services from initial announcements to email blasts to marketing content. Product Bundles Bundling products always makes the customer feel they're getting a great bargain. When we go to the grocery store and see buy one get one free or five for ten dollars, we often buy the extra or all five, whether we need them or not, simply because it's a great deal. When you bundle products, you can sell more and make even more money. Marketing Packages When a business decides to launch a marketing campaign, they want the whole package ads, web content, graphics, emails, promotional items, you name it. When you offer all of this as a marketing package, you're giving your customers one-stop shopping, and they'll love the convenience. PLR Content Checklist If you're going to be using or creating PLR content, it is important to make sure that what you will be buying and selling can actually make money. You don't want to get stuck with content that won't move or that is not going to interest businesses. Here you have seven tips to make sure that your content has the best chance of bringing you success. Read the content objectively. This is important whether you're buying the content or creating it yourself. Sit down and read it as if you're an objective potential customer. How does it flow? Read it aloud and gauge the rhythm and structure. Even if content is technically grammatically correct, if it sounds stuffy or awkward or does not flow naturally, it will not engage the reader. Sentences should not be too lengthy, but they shouldn't be short and choppy either. Check for errors. No matter how carefully someone has proofed content, there is always the possibility that an error has been missed. Even best-selling novels sometimes have an error or two. Read the content carefully. One good strategy for catching errors is to read from the last sentence to the first sentence. This way your mind does not automatically read it the way it is supposed to be. Read the PLR agreements and restrictions carefully. Most PLR agreements are not a free-for-all. In other words, there are usually a few things you cannot do with the content. Remember, the PLR agreement is a binding agreement, so be sure to follow the guidelines carefully to protect yourself and your profits. Always plan to alter. Even if the content is amazing, you want it to have the personality of your business. Plan to make a few changes to every piece of content you purchase to make it have a feeling of originality. Use graphics, logos, etc. to make the content yours. Sometimes content will have spaces for you to place your logo. However, even if it does not, if the content is in an editable format, you'll probably be able to insert graphics and a logo. 
If the PLR allows it, replace logos, banners, and graphics with your own to promote your business throughout the document. Choose content with the audience in mind. If you are selling technology content to a highly competent audience, the content will need to be intelligent and well-crafted. If you are selling a training manual to a novice, the content will need to be more simply worded. If you are located in Michigan in the U.S., but will be selling content to French-speaking customers in Quebec, have someone who speaks French read the content to make sure it flows well in that language. This is one of those times you do not want the text to sound like it came from Google Translate. Always keep content flexibility in mind. Your content will probably be specific to a topic. However, if the content itself is broad enough, then you can alter the same content in several different ways to make it specific. For example, if you're buying or creating PLR content on blogging, general blogging content can then be altered to cater to photography bloggers, creative writing bloggers, business bloggers, and others all using the same general content with some alterations. This gives you more for your money. If you keep these seven things in mind as a checklist, every time you create or consider buying PLR content, you will end up with a quality product that will be more likely to generate business and make a profit.